In this video, I'll install Cache OS on my gaming PC that I built in 2017. Inside, it has an i5 6600K, an ASUS GTX 1070 with 8GB of VRAM, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, as well as a 1TB NVMe SSD. Now, in my last video, I tried Bassite, which unfortunately wasn't a particularly good experience. A lot of you recommended Cache OS instead. So that's why I'm installing it today. Also in my last video, I made some benchmarks of my favorite games running on a fresh install of Windows 10. Shadow of Mordor, Overwatch and World of Warcraft. A quick recap. In Shadow of Mordor we got around 100 FPS, which is the cap. But in hectic situations it would drop to around 85 FPS. In Overwatch we got well above 100 FPS, even in action packed scenes. And in World of Warcraft I got around 70 to 80 FPS on ultra settings in 1080p. Alright, so let's start off by wiping the drive that we're going to use. Goodbye Bassite. This step is probably unnecessary, but I just learned to use this part. Clean all, boom. Let's grab the Cache OS ISO, download desktop version, direct download. Let's write it to the USB using Rufus, partition scheme, GPT. Let's see if disk part has done its work, all is unallocated, good. Now it's ready, so let's restart. Here in the BIOS, I select the USB. Oh, we got a cursor, and there's the logo. Welcome to Cache OS. Launch installer, choose bootloader, uh, grub? I don't know, let's try. Oh, it's in Danish, let's switch it to English. I am indeed in Copenhagen. I need to make sure I wipe the correct drive. Okay, erase disk, home desktop. Oh, there's a lot. Let's go with plasma desktop. Additional packages, um, let's just move on. Name, foci, login name, foci, computer name, foci. Now can you guess my password? I'll pin the first comment who gets it right. Install, install now. All right, I'll be back in a sec. So this only took like 10 minutes, very impressive. All done, restart now, done. There's the grub. Yeah, so I need to install OBS ASAP. Install apps. Uh, is it under video? No. Okay, so it was actually in the list. What else do we have here? Browsers. There's the usual suspects. Games. Oh, there's Mahjong, my old enemy. I can't seem to find Steam. Hmm. How to install Steam on Cache OS? The easiest way to install Steam is by using the Cache OS meta package via the terminal. I can also use the graphical Cache hello screen. Oh, okay, but where is it? Click on apps slash tweaks in the lower left corner. Oh, install gaming packages. There are two providers available. One is the default. Yeah, let's go with that. Proceed. Yes. I never get tired of this Hagerman code. Enter to exit. So do we just have Steam now? Oh, there it is. Let's start downloading Shadow of Mordor. Meanwhile, let's check out the terminal. Hmm, there's two? Alacrity. All right, it seems that all hardware is correctly identified. What NVIDIA driver is installed? How can I check drivers? Open a terminal and run NVIDIA-SML. This transparent terminal is quite cool. Okay, it's the same driver that I used on Bassite. Let's find a new wallpaper. Yeah, Anime Girl is not quite my cup of tea, sorry. Hmm, liquid? Ooh, I like this. Yeah, so here I spent 10 minutes figuring out how to install local scent sudo pacman dash s local send okay it is that simple huh let's get mango hut so i can monitor performance launch options paste this command let's grab g overlay 2 ooh this is cool 
Now we need to install World of Warcraft, and in my last video, some of you mentioned that Lutris was the way to go. Alright, I pulled up a guide, open Lutris, add, Battle.net, install. Oh, Shadow of Mordor is ready to play. Do not attempt to log into Battle.net, simply close it. Okay. Okay, it says installation completed here, but this window is stuck at 90%. Let's just close it. Open Battle.net. Oh, it just went black. Let's try again. Okay, I can log in this time. Shit. Ugh. Oh, we have three logos down here. Cool. All right, let's reboot and try again. So now it's logging in automatically. I think that's good. Battle.net update agent went to sleep. Well, wake up, goddammit. Shit. Okay, I need a win. Let's play Shadow of Mordor. Play? You've played for 69 hours. Nice. Your current CPU governor is not optimized for playing Shadow of Mordor. Huh. Maybe I need to enable Proton. Properties. Let's do Proton Cache OS. Alright, let's get these guys. Okay, this is pretty smooth, but I don't think it's on the right resolution. Let's check. 67%. Not nice. Let's turn it up to 1080p. Yeah, this is much better. And we're getting 90 plus FPS pretty consistently. Let's find somewhere with a little more action. Beast Hunt. Invade the Beast Hunt to weaken Sauron's army. So we need to find this fella Ishmos Skull Splitter. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay, I get 90 plus FPS even in this hectic situation. That's an actual upgrade from Windows 10. Very nice. Let's release this guy, maybe he can help me out. Oh, oh, I actually died. Damn. Okay, with that let's now try Overwatch. It ran terribly on Bassite, so I do hope it's better this time. Install, properties, compatibility, force the use of a specific Steam compatibility tool. Let's go with Proton Cache OS again. Great. Play. Okay, the menu feels pretty smooth. We're pretty much capping the 60 FPS. Let's find a game. Reinhardt for sure. Moment of truth. Oh no, no, so my mouse doesn't really work, it has like 5 seconds of delay and we're getting below 50 fps. Oh well, this can only be classified as yet another fail, damn. So after recording I did try letting the game load for some minutes as some of you recommended and I also tried different Proton versions, but alas nothing seemed to work. Okay, let's try another online game which isn't from Blizzard. Battlefront 2. Uh, nope. We get well below 40 FPS and the mouse isn't working again. God damn it. What about Apex Legends? Wine, Proton and Steam Deck are not supported by this application. Wait, what? Hey Legends, we're sharing today that Linux will no longer be able to access Apex Legends. Oh, damn. Team Fortress 2? No, that didn't work either. It kept giving me the same error message. Conclusion. Yeah, so Casio OS unfortunately couldn't solve my problems. Although I must say I quite like it. It's really fast and snappy. And the KDE desktop does look pretty cool. Installing the gaming package, which included Lutris, Steam and Epic Launcher is a cool feature as well. There are probably a lot of things I could do to make it better. If you have any suggestions, please share them. That said, I want to thank you very much for the support of my latest videos. I do read all comments and try to reply them all, although I've fallen a bit behind. So that's really all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and again thank you for the many comments and suggestions on my last videos. I have two videos coming up. The first will be on Fedora Linux, which I'm very much looking forward to try. 
The second is installing TinyCore Linux on the HP Mini. The reason it hasn't come out yet is that I have problems getting the internet to work on it. So again, if you know of a solution, please let me know. Okay, bye.